This video series will walk you through the basics of recording, editing, and producing a PowerPoint presentation with Camtasia Studio. In this first tutorial, we'll cover the PowerPoint add-in toolbar that's added when you install Camtasia Studio. The Camtasia Studio add-in toolbar allows you to start, stop, and control your recordings right from within PowerPoint. Just open the presentation you want to record and locate the add-in toolbar under the add-ins tab. If you're using a previous version of PowerPoint, then you'll find the Camtasia Studio add-in toolbar located at the top of the window. If you don't see the add-in toolbar, then you may need to enable it. To do this, open Camtasia Studio and go to Tools and Options. Click on the PowerPoint tab and make sure this box is checked. Now let's walk through each of the options on the toolbar before we begin recording. This button controls whether or not audio is recorded as part of your presentation. Enable it and you'll be able to record audio using a microphone. If you have a web camera attached to your computer, you can also record camera video during the presentation. This video clip can then be used as a picture-in-picture -picture clip, perfect for showing the presenter during the presentation. Use the Show Camera Preview button to preview what your web camera will record and adjust the position and lighting as needed. For further customization of your recording settings, click the Recording Options button. I recommend leaving this box checked so that your recording will start paused. This allows you to do one final audio check before you begin recording live. Other options include recording your mouse cursor and choosing whether or not you want it highlighted. If you're planning to record audio, here is where you select your microphone. Be sure to speak into the mic to test it and adjust the volume slider as needed. By leaving this box checked, any system audio or audio that comes out of your speakers will also be captured and added to a separate audio track on the timeline. Since I don't have any system audio to record for this presentation, I'm going to uncheck this box. There are a few more options to further customize the video and audio settings, such as codecs and formats, but leaving everything at the default settings should work just fine. The bottom of this window displays optional hotkeys to start, pause, and stop your PowerPoint recording. You can customize these to whatever you like, but be sure not to select hotkeys that are already being used on your system. Click OK to close this window and save any changes made to the settings. You're now ready to record your presentation. Check out the next video in this series that will walk you through the recording process.